On some different mysterious exoplanet we crash landed upon, we drove our rover through the terrain, stumbling upon a place dubbed by yourself as the Comestible Canyon for its delicious walls. Upon going inside, the player finds a whole civilization of giant ant beings. This civilization is centered around two crops, as you discover the chain crops and the red jelly. No one really knows what the chain crops are, really, but they grow in the sun and on soil and can be harvested with a sickle. Upon obtaining these, the player can feed these to the red jelly crop to make it grow faster so that way they can harvest it. These two crops are really important. Let me demonstrate by taking you through a walk in one of the jelly ants homes. Before even entering, you can tell that it's made up of red jelly bricks and that there's a potted chain crop on the windowsill. Here the carpet is made up of chain crops stitched together and this floor is very important because it's bioluminescent and conductive. Not only that, but it also functions as a solar panel. Although I would advise you keep your solar panels because solar panels produce more electricity than these carpets do and the carpets need to be sweeped regularly if they want to be functioning like a solar panel. And on the second floor is a bed and an exit to the balcony. The farmer walks out to the field with his beetle carrying a chest. Then he cuts some of the chain crops and puts them into the chest. Afterwards, he goes to his training booth to sell his chain crops for pearls from other civilians. The jelly wrangler here uses chain crops in his hand to feed red jellies. Then he splits them off with the sickle and sells them off to other ant people. This right here is the item manufacturer ant. He's in charge of making all the hardware, tools, and bricks for the civilization. Solar carpets, ropes, and beds are all stitched together by our friendly stitcher ant. Alright, now watch his stitching animation as he begins to stitch a bed. Whoa! Holy smokes! Wow, that actually looks pretty good. And bada bing bada boom, there's, there's a bed for you. Next up on our list is the electrician. His job during the day is to sweep up the solar panels to make sure that there's no dust on them and they work regularly. But during the nighttime, when the solar carpets can't produce any electricity, they're going to have to find another way to make it. And the ants are scared of the dark. At night, he feeds munchers treats, so that way they produce electricity for the night, keeping the town bright. Oh no, it's a pack of wild munchers, and they're here to eat up the whole town. You know, maybe it wasn't the smartest decision, to construct a whole town out of jelly, but now they're eating through the walls. And it's up to these giant ant robots on wheels to defend the city. The Jelly Queen's job is to collect taxes to buy more bricks from the item manufacturer 
to replace the walls, and as well as she is the one controlling all of the ant giants defending the town. All right, two more things. Even though, you know, the ants don't have any ears, they communicate via antenna, but still, they do have a national anthem canonically because I'm the creator of these ants. I think you should go check it out down in the description below. And as well, if you haven't already, I think <laughs> that you should uh click that subscribe button over there, you know that that would be very kind. Please, I am lonely. Goodbye.